Um, good morning, guys, and welcome to today's prediction analysis. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, um, join our Telegram channel, and like this video as well. So, talking about recent uh, results, especially results of the last two days, we've seen that the Euros has taken a different twist. You know, we were doing very well with them. We won a lot. We won a lot with those uh, Euro matches. But right now, um, there is a paradigm shift, right, in the nature of the matches. And these matches need to be looked at from a totally different lens because we are entering into the next stage of the Euros. So they need to be evaluated not with the same metrics we were using before. And if we are to play matches from there, maximum one or two games, right? And it cannot always be double chance or straight win. Because, or even go market, not even go market. So, but I mean, let's let's get back to winning West today. Uh, the bad thing they did was that during the first round of games for the Euros, a lot of leaks were paused. Okay, but thankfully, starting today, tomorrow, up till the weekend, you know, they will allow those other smaller leaks that we were benefiting from to resume. And I mean. In July, we'll have the Olympics for men and women. And, you know, we will we, 100% eat good during this period. So, if you have incurred any losses during these past two days, don't worry. You guys shouldn't worry. And you know how we do it here. Even if we lose one or two days, just know that once we start winning, we are winning for five days in a row. Five days in a row. Not two tickets where you win one one cut it's just gonna be one ticket and it's gonna be one ticket for five days in a row winning so um if you have incurred losses you you'll definitely get it back you might be wondering why have i done four plus odds in this period which is interesting now what has happened is the first four predictions that i'm going to take you guys through will give two odds two odds on the dot and now there is a second ticket, and that ticket is just one game that does two odds. And I'll take you guys through as well. So stay with me as we get on this journey. The first game is from the Lutania League. It's Banga versus <laughs> this one, Banga Soup. Uh, <laughs> Banga Soup. Oh. So it's it's Banga Soup versus Zalgiris. Now we are going with the away team. So when you look at these away team, they've been pretty excellent. Right? They've they've done very very well in uh, their away matches, uh, winning three times, losing once, and drawing once. Uh, the home team has been okay. They've lost. Uh, they've won twice, lost twice, and drawn once. Uh, head to head shows that. This away team has always beaten the home team. The away team has always beaten the home team every single time. But we are not going to go with a double chance for the away team, even though the away team is position one and they want to keep winning to consolidate their first position. We are going to go with the away team to win either half. So away team to win either half. It's a game they will win in 90 minutes no doubt but we are going to go with a away team to win either half and uh, because i mean head to head imagine five, playing this home team five times and beating them five times not even a draw right so it's a game i can confidently say straight win but in view of the times we are in let's be cautious because i really want you guys to return to winning ways today so a away team to win either half and the odd for a away team to win either half is 1.18 the next game is from the China uh, Super League is Shanghai Shenghu versus uh, Meihu uh, Hakka. Now, when you look at uh, this uh, home team, right, four wins and two draws. Uh, the away team has been in rather disappointing shape and form two losses and just two wins. Head to head shows uh, total dominance. By the home team, they, they always beat the away team every single time. And the reason why this game will matter for the home team is because 
the home team is position two, right? And they are just a few points away from the first place team. And if they fail to pick three maximum points today, they will be given additional advantage to Shanghai Port, the top place team, to go on to win the league. And I don't think they will like that. So it's a game they have to win in 90 minutes. And they will win. They will win by three or four goals to zero in 90 minutes. So what am I going with? I'm going with a straight win for Shanghai Port. Sorry, for Shanghai Shenghu. So a straight win for Shanghai Shenghu. And the odd for a straight win is 1.10. The next fixture we have is the final game of the, uh, you know, Euro League, Euro competition for these teams in the group stages, Georgia, Portugal. So first, we have to look at the standings and see what this game would mean for both teams. Um, Portugal has already qualified to the next round, but uh, this is a case of them wanting to qualify first. Okay, because um, there is Turkey, there is Czech Republic, but most importantly, Turkey. So they want to definitely qualify first without, um, you know, without messing around. So. And one thing we've noticed about Portugal in this competition is they don't score a lot of goals in the first half. And Georgia is pretty solid. I mean, look at Georgia. Uh, they haven't lost scandalously. And given the fact that Portugal has already qualified to the next round, they will not want to overexert their energies. I see this man, the Portugal team uh, coach, starting his second eleven. to be honest. And then if the game you know, gets to have a different twist, he can bring on his first 11. I think at this point, they only need like a point. They only need like a point to uh, finish to finish first, regardless of the result between Turkey and Czech. It's going to be really, really interesting. So I'm going with this fixture to produce under two goals in the first half. This fixture to produce under two goals in the first half. Um, Georgia has a point already, right? And they'll fancy their chances. They'll definitely fancy their chances. So I don't think Georgia will sit there and allow uh, Portugal to score them a lot of goals in the first half, no. So Portugal game to produce under two goals in the first half. And the odd is 1.19. And the final game we have is the game involving Ukraine, Belgium. And I want to use this opportunity to apologize to Lukaku because Lukaku has really impressed me. Lukaku has not Lukaku, and I'm really, really proud of him. This is a must win game for Belgium, no doubt. The reason why it's a must win game is that they put themselves in this situation. Imagine two matches after. And all teams in the group have three three points apiece. Very shocking. And what that means is that if Romania Slovakia decide to play a draw, which is going to happen, <laughs> Romania Slovakia will end in a draw. They will be putting Belgium in a very very difficult situation whereby they have to beat Ukraine. You know, they have to beat Ukraine. And you know, beating Ukraine is easier said than done, right? So, but Belgium plays better football than Ukraine, no doubt, 100%. Uh, we've seen them picked up from in their last couple of games. And they'll do everything possible. They'll do everything possible to pick maximum points. So, Belgium should win this game in 90 minutes. But we'll go with a draw, no bet. They'll play everything they know to pick maximum points against Ukraine. So, I'm going with a draw, no bet for Belgium in 90 minutes. And a draw, no bet in, for Belgium. Is priced at 1.26. And you have your booking code here. Okay, you have your booking code for Sportsbet. And the final game, I told you guys, we have two tickets. So the second ticket is an interesting game, and it's only one game. And it's valid, it, it gives 2.19 odds. And what I, I wouldn't want you guys to combine these games, right? It's a high risk game. As we say in Nigeria, if you're mind there, if you're mind there, then you can stake something on this game. But it's two odds, just one prediction. 
Now, this is an interesting game involving Slovakia, Romania. I think this should be the first time, if I'm not mistaken, these two teams have qualified for this competition, or either the second time for both of them. And look at how well they've done. Look at how well they've done. Three points, three points apiece. And what is interesting is that both teams only need one point each to advance to the next round. They only need one point each to advance to the next round. And information reaching me from the uh, uh, from, from a Romanian um, ex-international, right? You, you can even find it on Google. The Romanian ex-international says that both teams will pass the ball for 90 minutes in order to secure 1-1 one, one, or in order to secure 0-0. Zero, zero. That is a draw and, and for both of them to qualify. And I might believe it because these two teams are like Nigeria and Ghana. They're like, let's say, brothers, so to speak, very close to each other. So they will definitely want to, um, you know, do, do what they can to ensure that the two of them can qualify. And if they play a draw, which is likely to happen, they'll be putting Belgium in a very difficult position. What that means is that Belgium will need to win outrightly. Otherwise, Belgium might not qualify from this group. That's the difficult situation that we put in the group. So, but it's a game that will end in a draw because there are teams on the same level of strength. So, even, even without hearing what I've heard from the ex-international of Romania, it's a game that looks very good to happen as a draw. So, if your mind there, if you are ready for this risk, then go ahead and do two odds. But don't match the two tickets. Right, don't match the two to them. So a draw for this game to finish in a draw is two point nineteen, and it looks very good. It looks too good to happen, too too good to happen, guys. And without said, I, I mean it's even interesting. Their last couple of matches, twenty thirteen, two thousand and five, ended in a draw. You know, friendly matches. So uh, without said, I want to wish you guys the very best. This the booking code for the draw. And, you know, let's hope for the very best today. And thank you very much. As I said, please, if you want to bet on the two matches, bet equal amount across the two. Don't match the two tickets. Thank you, guys. Take care.